Hello everyone, in this video I'll show you how to set up two-factor email verification in Laravel projects. I'll start by demonstrating the result of the project we've created. You can always customize it to suit your needs. So let's get started. First we'll create a new Laravel project using the command line. Once the project is created, navigate to the project folder in your terminal. Replace your app name with your project name, otherwise the project name will be your app name. Yeah. I am using Visual Studio Code to edit this project since it has more features that makes the development easier and more efficient. Next we will install Laravel Breeze for basic authentication. This is very useful because it automatically sets up authentication for our web publication including a basic dashboard with login and register controllers, functions, blade templates and routes. This setup makes it easy to customize for our specific project needs. During the installation I'll choose blade as the stack. Select no for dark mode support and use PHP unit as the framework. Once the installation is complete, you can use the command PHP or TSEN serve to start the server and check the result. If you can able to see the login register screen right here, that means it successfully installed it. As you guys can see, it created a lot of blade templates for authentication, layouts, components, everything that needs for the authentication. Now one of the most important part, you have to configure your database and email servers inside the .env file. Right here it says like database connection right and I will show you guys the example on the screen just like this. But you have to enter your username password and your database name and database host port etc. The same is for the email server as well. I'll show you guys the example on the screen. You have to fill yours. I'll use second terminal because first one is actually running the PHP artisan server. This way I can execute more commands easily. Now go inside the database migration and create user table. Here we have to add a new table which is for the two factor authentication. So add a new line right here. And I want to point out that I did not add anything on the user model because I want to clarify that so I just showed you guys the user model and I did not made any changes here. Now 
Now let's migrate our database with this command. As you guys can see, it actually created our two-factor code table inside our database. As you guys can see, this is the basic authentication that we created using commands. And right now I'm testing it to make sure if it's working or not. Actually, the login is did not work because it doesn't have any accounts yet. We have to register one. And for that, I'm going to use this form. Oops, it asked for eight character password. So the register is working fine and it's also logged in and so basic authentication is working perfectly. You can actually find the authentication controllers right here and of course you can customize it according to your need if necessary. And I would like to point out that again because everything that basic authentication related is created by the command. Now let's create a blade template for our two-factor authentication and then I will show you guys how we can make a controller for that and configure everything else. Actually, I'm going to use the guest layout for this. And between these, I'm going to paste the form for the two-factor authentication. We will create this post root very soon but before that we need a controller for that so let's create a controller first I already have a two functions for this one is for the index and one is for the verify the first index function is responsible for sending the email and generating the code and saving it on the database and it will also show us the two-factor authentication blade template and for the verify function it will actually check if the OTP is same from the database or not and if it's same it will change the session to factor authenticated into true and then it will redirect us to the dashboard and if it doesn't match us it just redirect to the index function with the error message now let's create a web route for our two-factor authentication controller get is for the index function and post is for the verify function and don't forget to import the two-factor controller inside the web route otherwise you may get error
Now let's create a middleware for the two-factor authentication. So execute this following command. This will check if the two-factor authenticated is not found, it will redirect to our index page, which is our two-factor authentication page. One more time I'll show you guys the two-factor controller and I will explain a little bit in a text way so even if you guys did not understand my voice it will be useful for you. This is actually two-factor blade template and it also has the action for our two-factor verify function route. Open bootstrap folder and then there is a app.php, open that one. This is where we are going to register our middleware. It used to be kernel in older version but in the latest version you have to register it from here key thing to remember is that you have to remember the group name that you have set for this middleware which is two factor in my case and also the middleware class must be imported here just like this Now let's use the middleware properly inside the web root so it will be perfect. No one can able to access without credentials and it will also have two factor verification along with it. Currently my two factor controllers both get and post it's just there it's on the public. We don't want that because it should be protected under the normal basic authentication. So I'm going to copy this and paste it and remove these roots and I'm going to move this two factor inside this group which is auth group. So this will be only accessible if the user is logged in with username and password. And now we are going to add uh, another protection which is going to be authentication plus two factor. For this as I said you guys remember this right the group name two factor you have to add it like this and inside this group you can add whatever the route you want to be protected with both authentication and two-factor authentication as you guys can see the dashboard route is actually alone without a group but i also want to protect it with the two-factor so i'm going to copy it like this and comment it out and i'm going to add it along with this group
Once we configured all of these middleware and routes and everything, we have to clear all of the cache files because sometimes error will occur because of the cache files. I have shown the commands on the screen. You have to execute it all one by one. And once that is done, we can check the results. Now let's test the register. As you guys can see, it's asking us for the two-factor code right now and I got the code on my email account. Now I'm going to enter that code and click verify. As you guys can see, now it's successfully logged in. Now I'm going to show you guys what if the guest users try to enter the URLs that they are not supposed to, such as profile and dashboard pages. As you just witnessed, it just didn't let them in, it just redirected to the login page. Now let's try to log in with our email id and password. As you guys can see, now it's asking me to enter the OTP and after I enter the OTP, I'm in. I hope this helps you guys, feel free to like this video and share your thoughts in the comments below and I'll see you guys in the next video and bye.